By the way, I finished my analysis of the particle clouds. At first, I thought they might be some kind of nanotechnology, but I was wrong. It's a lot worse than that. What we're looking at is a completely unknown type and state of matter. Completely inexplicable within our understanding of physics. Created and manipulated by... someone. Fascinating. I was just kind of expecting some dialogue, though, as we travel from area to area, because I'm pretty sure when we've done that before, LB, there was dialogue. Uh, all right, let's head on into the VTOL. Yaku, take us in. Aye, aye, sir. Have any of you ever read an ancient writer called Ian Banks? I guess not. He postulated the concept of the outside context problem. That's when a society encounters something so advanced, so different, that they simply could not have conceived of it. That's what this is. This whole place is one giant outside context problem. And we're headed right into it. I think I can set down over there. Should I? Please do. I can't wait to get a closer look. Wonder if it's like Fitzy setting down. Okay, everyone. Like New Jersey. We need to explore as much as we like can separately if need be, but stay in touch. Record anything interesting you find. And pay special attention to any clues as to who built this place and why. The schematics we found in that lab were extremely incomplete. So if you can find any more of those, that would be great. I think someone should stay at the VTOL, just in case. I volunteer you. See you later, Al. Yeah, I kind of feel like the, the pyramid here is kind of like the dome that they were trying to build in New Jerusalem. As a kind of like, I had to kind of try and summarize my thoughts as to what this might be. Oh, Bill's got a proper sprint on here. Oh. some sort of elevator so we'll come back to the elevator in a moment i did see over here there were some potential things that we can read if melville oh, it's busy on that so we can't use that it seems Isn't this an incredible space? Look at it all, it's beautiful. That's good, that's excellent. I find that a lot of people these days can't see the beauty in things created by human hand. They can look at an ant colony or a coral reef and be impressed, but if it was made by humans, they just don't see it. It's good to be humble as an individual, but we have to be careful not to lose track of our accomplishments as a species. If we're impressed by the complex patterns produced by animals, then this, this should be breathtaking. Okay. Looks like some sort of power source, potentially. Um, also, I thought I'd made a change to this, but... Uh, 
uh, where do I see it? Let's put uh, a box. I was playing around with this earlier on. I wanted to put a box. Next, I've kind of said it. It's, uh, I find it sometimes a bit, a little bit weird and difficult to see. Is it? Kind of, the, the text is right above the like, power core on the individuals. So, yeah, Melville doesn't doesn't want me to read that, it seems. So, let's go and explore somewhere else. And see what we can find. Is that like actual daylight, or is that simulated? Because for a pyramid, if that's outside, it's a very, it's a very flat structure, considering we drove into it. Unless we didn't fly over the top and the top's not as pyramidy as we thought, but yeah. From Arkady Shinevsky's In Our Likeness, Essays of Humankind Reaching Adulthood. What I propose then is that we are not born entirely free agents, responsible only for ourselves. The very core of what we are, our sentience, separates us and elevates us above the animal kingdom. As I've argued, this is not a matter of arrogance, but responsibility. However, this blessing also demands something else from us, something more personal than responsibility, and that is loyalty. Our ancestors, less, less atomized than we are, experience a crude version of this loyalty, swearing allegiance to tribes, races, nations, and other such semi-fictional concepts. This fragmented understanding was easily exploited and led to many conflicts. We can condemn them for that, or we can choose to believe these were necessary historical steps towards our growth. But above all, we must stop indulging in such childlike behavior. Our species can no longer afford to believe in Mother Russia or Uncle Sam. Neither, however, can we afford to indulge in the adolescent rebels' mis misanthropy, rejecting the many gifts we have been lucky enough to receive, not from above, but from the history of our species. To put it simply, each of us owes a burden of loyalty to humanity itself, to the human project across space and time. This is not a minor matter, or some abstract issue from philosophers. It is a profound and significant part of every human life. It is a universal source of meaning and insight that can combine us together and set us on a path for a brighter future. And it is also a division, a line, that must be held against those who preach the gospel of self-annihilation. We ignore it at our peril. Skulite Drennan stood by of this belief to the bitter end. Without him, the archive would not exist. As we owe humanity our loyalty, so we owe a more personal debt to those individuals who gave everything for our story to continue. Wasn't that, I don't know, like when that passage started out, is that in one of the other games? But, I don't know. Kind of seemed a little bit familiar. On a second, 1K. I think I can find an override for that door. Maybe after that, you can help me with this elevator? One problem at a time. What's going on with these file structures? Okay, door should be opening. Now, about the elevator. Actually, the elevator's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm pretty sure no idea where I am, but it's working. Don't go too far. Try to circle back. On it. Okay. Okay. Did you get hey, 1K, can we talk for a second? 
Is that whole thing with that? I think you could get in there in front of me when um, Melville had to open the door for me and nobody has come past me since I've been there. Elevator just gave me the creeps. Um, why did it give you the, the creeps? When we first arrived here, I was really excited. It's such a huge place. The technology is so advanced. If we figure out what it all means. Yeah, I did, but I didn't expect him to like appear in front of me. So does that mean the elevator wasn't an elevator and it was more, it's more of a teleporting device potentially? We could really change the future of New Jerusalem. The mayor says we have to avoid repeating the mistakes our ancestors made to stay humble, to not reach too far. And that sounds very abstract, but I've seen the ancient oh, cities. I've seen how much they built, how much they grew, how far they fell. So I've been thinking, what if all this sets us on the same path? What if this is too much power for anyone to control? Ancient Israel and Sunday, I think it's more complex than our Paris than actually good or bad. Honestly, I think it's too early to tell. I think one of our ancestors was too much power. Jim Pulse was correct, no use on this technology in the mayor's premise is wrong. He's assuming history can only develop in one way. Um again, I still don't think I we I do still think it's potentially too early to tell. Fair enough. Maybe I shouldn't worry so much before we know more. Thanks for talking to me, 1K. I know we're in the middle of something, but I kind of needed that. Strange noises. This place goes on and on and on. Looks like another set of puzzles. Same pattern, one gate, three receivers. Like some sort of fractal symmetry. Okay. Do I already have the pieces? Interesting. This this is giving me like the final tower vibes. I keep getting locked out of parts of the system. I think I've tracked down some more schematics though. Let's see. This might do something or not. I don't know if it's like per like done on purpose, but these like brass kind of gold emblems almost look like the two logo.
I'm expecting to get all the pieces. solve it the way we want you to solve it on these. It takes away some of the, uh, like a lot of the difficulty of the Tetramino puzzles. Um, whether or not it's better or worse, I don't know. Okay, so I need to take a blue from somewhere. I read the comment that says, do be careful not to fall off, by the way. It resets all puzzles and elements. <laughs> oh, yikes. based on LB's comments, I'm not meant to do that. <laughs> oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, anyway, let's do things prim and proper. Get rid of all our connections. I don't want to be known as Knock the Cheater. I put the... Thank you. 
Welcome back, Paris. Oh. Okay, so we have done it the correct way this time. Is there a button or something that we need to... I find sometimes when I play Unreal Engine games, it lags the chat. And sometimes the messages don't appear. I'll be. Be what you're seeing there. Good job, 1K. Okay, one down. Two lasers to go. Let's head up here towards... It's red up here, I guess? I mean... The lower wood suggests red, but... Pretty spoopy. as spoopy as those sounds. This is madness. Even the walls are bursting with power. Okay, so this is open. Need to get a blue to open that. We have a blue and a red laser here, which is kind of touching each other. Weird, if that's the solution. Not sure. I wonder how far down this goes. Yes and no, because I guess technically I didn't get to the bottom. We just found out it was a very, very long way. Um, Sweet. 
could be the three portal devices down there. Maybe. The gate's open. 1K if you want to. Go ahead. I'll finish up scanning this. Oh, he was actually trying to... Okay, that's... Yeah, I can... Kind of see. How it, you might think that you need to do that. It's unfortunate. I mean, I'm not being funny, LB. I mean, looking here, it kind of do you kind of do get that aperture science kind of feel when you're looking at here. It could be like test chambers built upon test chambers forever and ever. But who knows? Maybe maybe the mega structure is aperture science. the big door. I did notice the door went up there was kind of like a Almost like a person or something, or a robot on the door, so that's quite interesting. These noises keep making me think like an alien's gonna pop out in a minute, or a face hugger. Very, a very spooky vibe for sure, so kind of makes you feel a bit uneasy. They did a bang up job with the ambience, I think. That's what we're going for. Okay, no secrets. Question from Miranda to whoever that is. I was doing some reading while the late last trial was running and I came across something I don't understand. There are a lot of references to ancient human feelings that sort of feeling that science is boring. To me, everything we're studying is mind bendingly incredible, whether it's quark, quark glulin deconfinement or neutrino. Antiotrino oscillators, sorry for my pronunciation, or even something incredibly basic like the properties of light. I understand why our ancestors cared about art, why a beautifully crafted story or poem was moving to them, but how could they not see that everything that surrounds us is just, in just incredible? Studying science is like studying the most incredible machine ever created. 
machine designed to build worlds and tell stories. How could they not see that? I'm sure there's a good explanation, but I don't get it. I wonder who that's to. Hmm. Yes, Prometheus does, actually. Although, technically, Prometheus doesn't. Prometheus was the film that introduced, like, the origins of the space jockey. But I'll, I'll, I'll let you go. I'll, I'll let you have that one, LB. I'm going to have to... Um, my curiosity is piqued. Make the text. Here we go. Uh, next decimal to text. I want to see what this says. Uh, 496E20616C6C20616. C C E677326F662067. Six 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 E six one seven four seven five seven two six two zero seven four six eight six five seven two six five two zero six nine seven three two zero seven three six F six D six five seven four six eight six nine six E six seven two zero six F six Six two zero seven four six eight six five two zero six D six one seven two seven six six five six C six F seven five seven three two E. Fortunately, that didn't tell me who it's from. What it did tell me though was, in all things of nature, there is something of the moment. The shame. I was hoping it to give me some like hint or spoiler or something as to who that was from. But, yeah, interesting. Let's say, in all things of nature, there is something of the marvelous. I've always kind of liked the fact like that the hex, um, decoding the hex kind of always has something of kind of relevance to like the the text that it's in so um some schematics in the oh overload again mother what are you thinking about mother the talus principle you see it has two applications one is to the self it means facing the truth, even if it frightens us. Understanding that living beings are machines and we can't afford to lie to ourselves. But that's just the beginning. The second application is to the world. This one seems easier at first. It's less difficult to understand that the universe is a machine governed by laws. So we and the universe are the same? No, and that's the crucial part. We are conscious. Consciousness is rare, unlikely, but it's also the foundation of everything else. Without us, there can be no meaning. Without someone to perceive it, the beauty of the universe is pointless. But that shouldn't make us arrogant. No, in fact, it means we carry a tremendous responsibility. We are the light of the cosmos. And if we go out, there will be nothing but a cold, Dark machine. Act two. Human form divine. Athena. The founder was here. She could still be here. What if this... This is why she left to build all this. We have to look for her. I'm reading some pretty big energy spikes. I think we better scramble. But she could be right here, right behind the next door. I could turn around a corner and walk right into her. If she's really here, she'll still be here when we come back. 
But right now, safety needs to come first. Let's go, Byron. You... Oh. Damn you, but you're right. Heading back. All right. So it looks like our first trip to the pyramid is done. Albeit we didn't really fully explore. No! Everywhere we needed to go. Imagine I'm trying to make sense of nuclear power, a power plant, and I'm dealer trying to explain disco music. If you get you get my drift, these particle clouds contradict every known law of physics. What's really shocking here is that we're seeing a new and powerful technology. It's what this implies about our grasp of physics. A lot of what we thought we knew must be wrong or incomplete on some fundamental level. Humbling realization. Another light that comes from. Just re rereading that last line. I said it was um, one that you liked so much, Shelby. Basically, kind of saying. Was that really the founder? I think so. It was her. For years, I've wondered what happened to her, why she left, where she went. Why she didn't... Why she didn't tell me? If the answers are here, I promise you we'll find them. We just have to be careful. Follow protocol. I almost wonder I if I was... I can't she... believe the founder built this place. Has she been here the whole time? We don't know that she actually built it. All we know for sure is that she was here at some point. Of course she built this. Who else would have the kind of vision necessary to accomplish something like this? The question is why, and why like this? Why recreate all these aspects of the simulation? What is she trying to tell us? It does seem like it might be a test. I can't imagine any other explanation. But why is it so broken? Or does it just appear to be broken so that we have to learn how to fix it? I hate this. Well, I know one thing for sure. Everyone in New Jerusalem is going to go absolutely nuts. Oh, no. Yeah, I think like she's, what she's kind of saying is like, by that line, almost well, the way I interpret it is like, we are literally the last hope for secure, uh, for like any form of life going on from here on in so if like we fail now then um you know that's basically it this is just gonna be left with like a world with no kind of it's close to can be human activity it's gonna be left to nature in the big machine rust Looks like a cheeky hex code. Expect a tower in the eastern wetlands. Enter the megastructure. Well, those achievements are a little bit delayed. Um, F5358. No? Okay. I thought for sure that would be a hex code. Anyway, moving swiftly on. Um, how dull it is to pause to make an end. To rust unburn unburnished not to shine in use as though to breathe were as though to breathe were alive as though to breathe we're life life piled on life we're all too little one to me little remains but hour is saved but every hour is saved from that eternal silence something more bringer of new things and vile it were, for some these sons to store and hoard myself, and this grey spirit yearning in desire. 
Hollow knowledge like a sinking star beyond the utmost bound of thought. I kind of feel like those sorts of passages, I kind of see them as a poem and I try to read them as like a poem with almost like rhyming lines, but it really doesn't work that way. I gotta try it. No, nope, that's just death. Alright, I think the elevator is well and truly broken. Just pointing that out. There was just a massive hole in the floor where the elevator was, so I'll just try and look to see what would happen. All right, so we're done here on like the east side of the map. I'm kind of guessing, making assumptions that the next time we visit the mega structure, we'll then be entering on one of the other sides, and we'll just kind of like see um, another kind of area with a few more puzzles and things to solve. So. Yeah, it's almost like Athena has a lot of secrets hidden. She's kind of like hidden different things or different like passages in each of the each of the areas here. So uh, anyway, I mean, it might have been that much. All right, of a take us back to base camp here. Yeah, pretty obvious, but yes, sir. Just an observation. I'm getting some new readings. Looks like two of the northern sites are lighting up. I think that may have been me. I suspect the puzzles are somehow tied to the transport system, like we're supposed to solve them in a particular order. Did you say that that shot right there, like as we're coming out of the mega structure, kind of like puts into perspective how big this whole area is because obviously you've got like relaying connectors like on this area but it's like, like way off into the distances like the actual areas where we're solving these puzzles so yeah it's just like kind of put into perspective a bit more for me like the sheer um distance involved and, and the size of this like island Main objective is getting back into the mega structure. 1K, I want you on puzzles. You seem to have a knack for them. But the rest of us can't neglect our secondary objectives of studying this island and understanding this technology. Okay, that's interesting though. Like, I kind of thought there that. The degree to which the vegetation seemed to have spread, I would guess the megastructure has been abandoned for a while. Although the combination of moisture and heat does create an ideal environment for plant growth, what makes it harder to, harder to be sure is that some plants have clearly been placed for decorative purposes, so a lot of what we're seeing may have spread from there rather than coming in from outside. Surprisingly beautiful, but also kind of creepy. I agree it's creepy. Very creepy indeed. Um... Yeah, interesting that like we're back here though, like on the same side, because I already kind of assumed that well, there isn't really anywhere on that side, is there? I mean, I guess it's like where the transport system is linked. Um, hmm. Uh, no, Byron just said about us solving the puzzles. There is. Alright, let's head on to the north area. I mean, let's just do it in order, right? North one, here we go. You should be headed towards an island off the northern coast. The terrain's pretty rough, so be careful. 
The island has another island. Is that what you were talking even... about? What? Is that what you were talking about? I know before we um, aside planes and that some of the dialogue getting cut off. Will be. Oh, it's snowy this time. Interesting. Uh, should be heading to an island off towards the northern coast for inspiration of Skip. Or this, the island has another island attached to it. Yes, it has several actually. Heritating. What? Go and take a look, shall we? Oh wow, we're going all the way up. Ha. Ah. Okay, this is different. Very different. Miranda is the founder's daughter. It's still kind of blowing my mind. She came all the way out here, left everything she had behind, and created a new life. Why do you think she did that? I don't really know. Neither do I. Maybe she was just lonely. I'm not sure, to be honest. This is all so surreal. Walking around here is so peaceful, but it's also, I don't know. One moment I feel inspired, the next kind of creeped out. Our ancestors relied heavily on fossil fuels for energy generation, which released a lot of carbon dioxide. This caused the atmosphere to trap more heat which changed the planet's overall climate. The effect continued even after they were gone, and these low-lying areas were flooded. I've seen a lot of places like that. What's not tickling your fancy, Chris? No, I never did. I would have loved to. Nope. That was short and sweet. You know, people throw around the word awesome a lot. I probably do it too, but I think what we saw in there is the proper meaning of the word. I wonder what it was like when the ancients were still here. Their world seemed so lively. Not always in a good way. Interesting times are great to read about, but rarely great to experience. All right, that's that's true. Course. But they left behind so much art and philosophy and religion, and so many strange stories. Is New Jerusalem like that? It was, in the beginning. Oh, it was in the beginning. So, what happened to make Athena kind of want to jump ship and start creating somewhere else, I wonder? I wonder. Hello, 1K. I sure did. Not as well as Byron, but she was still around when I was born. I remember she came and talked to me after New Alexandria 
told me how sorry she was. I never blamed her for that. It wasn't her responsibility. A lot busier than it is now. My most defining memory is that it was extremely noisy because something was always being built. Got annoying after a while. For some reason, we'd convinced ourselves that New Jerusalem wasn't enough, that we needed another city. We thought it would be easier the second time around. All it takes is a little bit of arrogance and a little bit of ignorance, and people die. Yeah, I will do everything in order. Um, please spend on just doing my usual thing of just exploring and uncovering where everything is first, and then we'll jump into puzzles. Terminals here to read. And bells are on. To Athena, a great and sacred founder, I believe I have discovered the truth that our so called leaders have hidden from us. This absurd and sacrilegious goal they have us working towards is this heuristic her completion day. Foolishness was never your true intent. Even after the abomination of a city that calls itself New Jerusalem is a deception. Why would you want us to return to the sinful ways of our ancestors, strangling the living soil which, with steel and concrete? No, it was when you, first, you and the first companions lived humbly amongst the splendors of Gaia, having no need for all the wasteful ostination inherited from our weakened descendant ancestors that you showed us the true path. After all, why would the, the progenitor have given us such hardy bodies if she intended us to live in unearth, unearth luxury? From the very first, from the very first, we were, from the very first, we were built to be free from pride and material excess. Your teachings have been obscure, obscured and perverted by in ideolog ideologies. Ideologies, ideologies, logies. Worst of all, by the traitor Byron, who once was like a son to you, but you shown, you should know that there was there are still those of us who remember the truth and await the blessed day of your return, when surely justice will be meted out and humanity will finally return to its intended path. Hallowed be your name. So what happened? What did Byron do to Athena? What's he not telling us? It's interesting that like they're saying they're working towards this thing which goes against their ideologies basically and what they were all created for. We're assembled on a vast green lawn outside of the outside as the reactors begin to slowly wind down. The workers were solemn. The activists who had thought against the decommissioning seemed crushed. There was supposed to be a speech, but the spokeswoman had lost her notes. Outside, the protesters cheered. My eyes were drawn to the, the discarded anti-shutdown banners, endlessly reciting the facts. The statistics on morality per trillion kilowatt hours, lowest of all energy sources. The lifespan of a reactor, 70 more years in our case. Minimal land footprint, almost zero emissions, no intermitt intermittency. It became a jumble of words, a litany, almost a kind of gloss... Glossal... Glossalila? Glossalalia. Heard that word before. Um, as far as the protests outside were concerned, it might well have been an alien tongue. 
one thing w was clear to them, and that was enough. The technology inside this compound was deeply, inherently wrong. It was a sin. I could not help but think of that moment on August 6th, 1945, when the sky erupted above Shimina Hospital. My imagination could never fully encompass it. How do you imagine more than 70,000 people annihilated in an instant? An ancestor of mine was in the hospital. He went from being a doctor, a husband, a father, a pacifist stuck in a terrible war to being a pile of bleached bones covered in rubble, all in a single second, not by accident, because of a choice someone made. Not because of a reactor, but because of a bomb. Two days earlier, contradicting his campaign promises, the Prime Minister had suggested that the use of tactical nuclear weapons would be an acceptable risk if the conflict continued. Very few seemed to find this particularly shocking or outrageous. They were afraid of reactors, but not of bombs. The spokeswoman gave up on finding her notes. It was starting to rain and people were walking away. She grabbed the microphone. By the time you regret this, it'll be too late, she said. But honestly, I don't care if I don't know if I care anymore. Maybe you have it coming. Which woman sounds so bitter. The protesters didn't mean any harm. From their perspective, they were doing good. People always think they're doing good. When they get collectively outraged, that doesn't make them right. Collective action can change the world when it's deliberate and based in reason. But it can also become a mental trap of or societal pressure value. Byron wants to know too, eh? Um, cliche. As you continue your reading, there's a useful concept that I would like you to keep in mind. Thought terminating cliche. This is a type of phrase, often a slogan or a saying, which sounds Sorry. sounds meaningful, but is really intended to make you stop thinking. Pick an example from our history. Someone in the simulation might say things like it's the will of Elohim, or it serves the purpose, it serves the process. And that would be that case closed. Who knows how many iterations never advance further because they just stop thinking at that point. Do note, however, that a thought terminating cliche is not the same as a lie. It may very well contain certain elements of truth, but those elements are used to keep you from questioning a whole set of assumptions that come with it, which may be partially or totally false. This often takes the form of appealing to someone that you care about. We must protect X. Where is X as a nation? Where X is a nation, philosophy, public order, or even the planet itself. But while you may agree with the element of with that element, all kinds of assumptions may be included about how to protect something or who to protect it from, or what the end goal of protecting it is. If you stop there just because you agree with the surface level statement, the results may be the opposite of everything you wanted. Like those who chose to serve Elohim and in so doing prevented him from achieving his true purpose. Okay. Interesting stuff. Yeah, I still know. I, I do wonder if like all of these failed to load are the same, are the same person or if it's different people just happen to have um, corrupted profiles almost. Definitely be uh, interesting to uh, find out at some point, which I'm sure we will down the line. All right, from Quentin. Dear Founder, I never got to know you. People tell all these stories about you and I don't know what to believe. Some people say to ask Cornelius, Others say Cornelius is too blinded by grief. Some say Byron stands for the truth. Others say he's a fanatic and, and a, a radical and we shouldn't listen to the mayor. There doesn't seem to be any way of getting a straight answer. Why did you abandon us to this chaos? Why can't you just come back and sort it out? You're reading these messages. Don't you care? Indeed. From Radam. Dear Founder, thank you for everything you did for us. I am grateful for the life that I have, which would not exist without you. I hope wherever you are now, you are at peace. Noema Project 5. New labs established to avoid interference versus duplication of advanced machinery. 
data collection and analysis translation group groping groping in the dark so it's an UTF fails to account for this. Let's return rerun trials. Maybe God was trying to make an apple pie from scratch. This is interesting. So these logs, obviously, these are Athena's logs. The fact that she said, like here, um, first successful duplication of advanced machinery is she making is she like here trying or wherever she is is she trying to make like a more advanced version of the like exoskeletons that we all live in or is she trying to duplicate something else i mean looking at what we've got looking at what we've got here i mean like with this all wired up i almost think she's like trying to duplicate us but i don't know